Uh, okay, you you have a topic you brought to the table today, which is interesting. Uh, there's seven undefeated teams left in college basketball. We might throw some honorable mentions in here that have lost a game at the end, but we want to play a game of are these teams actually good? We're going to go through the seven undefeated teams, and you tell me, are they actually good or are they not? Team yeah. number one, uh, the first three are pretty obvious, so we can be quick, but team number one is the number one team on Kempom. That's the Houston Cougars. They are 10-0. and 0. Are they actually good or not? They are good, but they are also not previous Houston teams. I want to make that very, very clear. They're good, though. Should we change the bar from good to great for the first three? Like, is Houston actually great? No, Houston is good. So Houston's not great. They're good. Okay, not, I, not I agree with that. Good. Arizona. They are great. Are, are they great? They are great? They are great. Best team in college basketball? Yes. You and I need to get involved. I know uh, I love the Heat Check guys. I love how much they're helping us. I'm a little jealous you and I haven't been able to talk Arizona in the last couple of weeks for the recaps and previews. We got to get in because I see uh, Arizona fans have been uh, they, they've been lighting Connor Hope on fire after whatever he said in the recap. So we need to we'll, we'll do Arizona Purdue later this week, and I'm excited we get to talk about Arizona. Baylor, uh, are they good? Are they great or not? I think Baylor's great, actually. Can they be great with the not great defense, though? I th- the thing is, I think that it picks up. Okay. I mean, it would, in theory, pick up against a team that can't make a shot from outside, right? And add one to the jab counter. <laughs> but, yes. Actually, y'all are making shots. That could be an entertaining game. Yeah. And then Baylor wins 90 to, 90 to 64. Are you going to that game? It's an LCA, right? I am not going to that game. Mm, okay. Going to the, going to the Lions game that night, actually. Oh, even better. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got through the first three. All those teams are obviously good. I would say Baylor is not great for the record. I think Arizona is the only great team that we just talked about. They don't have the defense. Two of the four that should be fun. Oklahoma is nine and zero on the season. Porter Mosier is uh, really has a team looking good right now. They've had comfortable wins over a bunch of good teams. Providence and Arkansas being the most recent ones. They had wins earlier this season over Iowa and UC- USC. Those look a little worse than they did at the time, if not a lot worse in Iowa's case. But all in all, this is a good team. 12th best defense in the country, 35th best offense. Is Oklahoma actually good? Yes or no? I actually think they are good because I think last year you looked at like, I think everyone believed in Porter Moser as a coach. Like when you get down to the nitty gritty, everybody believed him, believed him as a coach. But there was like a little bit of adjustment period going from the Missouri Valley to the Big 12 and getting Big 12 level athletes, Big 12 level players, uh, Big 12 level talent. And I think that Porter and his staff have done a great job of that this season. And now you're seeing you're reaping the benefits of that. You're reaping the rewards. I think this is a good basketball team. I don't think this is a fraudulent, um, you know, uh, record, in my opinion. Also, Javion McCollum is an absolute monster. Like he is a killer killer. Uh, they got some good, they got some pieces on his team. And I think that Porter, like I said, Porter Moses is a really good coach. So like I'm I'm buying the Sooners as a good basketball team. Okay. I'm with that. I uh I like that they feel like they don't have a superstar to me. Like you I don't call, think, you don't think JV McCollum's a superstar? I think them? he's a great player. Like he's their best player. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's a superstar. And I think on other nights, it could be other guys who step up. Like, I think Otega away is very, very good. He's been the best player in games. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just think they're balanced. And I like that. I like Porter Moser teams that feel like they have five different guys that can beat you. Like I I think back, like Crutwig was obviously the superstar, but like they had Clay Custer who could kill you. They had Lucas Williamson who could kill you. Like, that's where they're most dangerous to me, and I feel like Oklahoma has the balance this season where they could surprise people in Big 12 play. So I'm with you. I think they're a good basketball team. Moving down the list, is Clemson actually good, yes or no? They are 9-0. and uh, You you love the Tigers, I'm pretty sure. I love the Tigers. I love the front court. I love P.J. Hall. love Dylan Hunter, uh, the addition of Joe Girard. Not saying he's buying into the Clemson defense, but he's a guy who can fill it up in a hurry from outside. I, I really like this team. I do. I think they're well coached, and – their front court too, I think, in an era of front court players that can sometimes not be as tough as previous years, like they're able to out tough guys down low. 
Like they went to that game in Alabama and they had that front court in hell. Grant Nelson looked like a little kid. And I think yeah. there's a lot of front courts around the country that they can do that. Like I look at the great teams, like Arizona's front court, you're not going to like punk them or anything like that, out tough them. Could they out tough a Duke front court? Hell yeah, they could. Could they out tough a UNC front court? I do believe that they could. Will that lead to wins and like them win the ACC? I don't know about that. Obviously, it's outside of that. Basketball is more than just being able to out tough people in the front court. But like, this is a damn good team. And PJ Hall is like one of the best players in the country. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, he is. He's really, really good. I'm with you. I think Clemson's good. I also think Clemson's better than Oklahoma, just for comparison's sake and what we're doing. I, I like Clemson more than I like Oklahoma. I would I would say that too. Yeah. Also, to complete the circle, we're going to do coaching stuff in a minute. Uh, if, if Michigan basketball is having a parallel to Michigan State football, hiring Brad Brownell would be hiring Jonathan Smith. I don't think Brad Brownell's been as successful as Smith was at Oregon State. He hasn't? No, like they've been missing the tournament. Have they? I, I don't think they made the tournament like the last five years, to be honest with you. You do know that Jonathan Smith had a lot of losing seasons at Oregon State before two decent ones. I mean, Brad Brown, I wasn't ACC coach of the year, was he? Um, I don't know. It might have happened once in his like 20 Brown, I was on the hot seat coming into this season because he wasn't making the tournament. You know, went 23 and 11 last year. They went 25 and 10 in 2018. They went 22 and 12 in 2011. And they and they missed the tournament, right? No, not all those years. Which 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 years did they make it? Made the tournament in twenty one. Made the tournament in eighteen. Made the tournament in eleven. Okay, so they haven't made the tournament the last two two years. I think Brad Brownell would be Jonathan Smith. That's all. Okay, I'm saying. okay. okay. that's all I'm saying. Maybe Brad that, PJ Hall. That counts as the jab counter. <laughs> that's not a jab. Uh, <laughs> Who's next? I think it's James Madison that's next on my list. Uh, hey, is is this team good? They beat Michigan State. They must be good. I don't think they're that good. <laughs> Can I get a jab count? I know. Jab counter. Uh, no, I don't. I think this team is 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 solid. I don't think I don't think they're that good to be honest with you. I think they're good. I think I, I think there's a lot of other better mid majors than them. Do you think they lose a game? Yes. <laughs> Do you think they lose five games? God, you know, I'm I'm really rusty on my Sun Belt knowledge. I think they lose three games. Ten Palm has them 27 and three. Uh, yeah. They're favored in every game except for a road game at App State later this season. So I don't know. I I think James Madison's good. I think the game against Michigan State was a lot about James Madison just being legitimately good. I buy oh. that. Okay. Uh, and final one here, Ole Miss. Uh, you know, it's just great to see a good person have success. You know, you know what? Like a good, a good feel good story that really gets you choked up when you think about it. Would would Chris Beard be like the Urban Meyer? Like it back to my parallels. Like if we spent a month saying like raise the flag, bring me Chris Beard, would that would that be the same? No, because Chris Beard got arrested. Uh, Urban Meyer just is a little is a little little sexual deviant a little horny yeah just a little yeah. bit mm, yeah, yeah. being a lot worse uh Ole Miss is okay so they they're not beat, good yeah they haven't beaten anybody beat Memphis yeah I thought you love Memphis that's you want okay you're right let, you're right let me let me take that back I did forget that they beat Memphis but because they beat Memphis are we giving them the are we giving them the good the good bump I think Ole Miss is bad. Uh, they they beat Detroit Mercy by one point at home. They beat Sam Houston State by three points at home. They beat Temple by one point on the road. Um, I think Ole Miss is bad. I think Redacted is such a good coach. <laughs> He's such a good coach, man. Like, I do you know how many coaches would just lose all their close games? Yeah. <laughs> like this guy just wins. He all he does is win their close games. Wait a minute. That jab counter? No, that was a jab at my my coach. That was a self jab. Okay. Good you could self. say you could say that was a little bit of a punch I threw at myself there. That's hey, but um, but um, you're supposed to come bear hug me before I get to actually swing. By the way, that's what, how this is supposed to work. Uh, all right. Do you want to do Memphis? I, apparently, we're just doing the seven undefeated teams, but also Memphis. Is Memphis good? <laughs> my True TV Tigers are good. Javon Quinterly. Has been great. David Jones has been great. The other transfers have been great. 
Penny Hardaway has been great. I just want some respect put on my Tigers. That's all. Let's just pretend that they're undefeated. I think that should be a bit for the rest of the season. Is that <laughs> Memphis? Memphis is still undefeated. They got to be part of this exercise. So yeah, I I think Memphis is good. They're old. They got a bunch of dudes who just kind of buy in, play unselfish right now. Different guys that can beat you on a given night. Uh, the uh, the quotes from Penny were a little ominous last night, though. I don't like that he's like, I don't know if my player's sick or not. Yeah, true. Also, they might get Naquan Tomlin. That'd be crazy. I'm, which I'm very in on. That would be crazy. All right. Uh, anybody else you want to do? Anybody else we should pretend is undefeated? No, no Big Ten teams need to be talked about. Northwestern's not good? No. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks. Fun segment.